In the 19th century, ships were not very stable and accidents were common. Safety regulations were unclear, making it difficult to navigate safely. The sea needed someone to take charge and bring order like a sheriff in the Wild West. In the 1970s, the International Maritime Organization IMO, recognized the importance of port state control and established the International Convention for the Safety of Life at Sea SALAS. On March 18, 1967, an oil tanker, the Torrey Canyon ran aground off the coast of Cornwall in England. The oil spread along miles of coastline, polluting beaches, harbors, and kelp beds. The effects were especially severe on the island of Lundy, where the oil was up to six inches deep. The incident resulted in a huge outcry from the public for better safety regulations for ships and their cargo. These demands led to the establishment of the Alert Port State Control, a system of inspections that ships must go through before entering a port. The oil slick caused significant damage to the environment and wildlife of the region. It also caused the deaths of thousands of animals due to the inhalation of toxic fumes, suffocation, and the ingestion of oil-contaminated food. The concept of port state control began after this accident when several European countries agreed to join forces to combat unsafe ships. To prevent any accidents in the future. The oil tanker Amako Cadiz encountered severe weather conditions while traveling from the Persian Gulf to Rotterdam, Netherlands, through the English Channel. A heavy wave caused damage to the ship's rudder, resulting in a loss of control. Attempts to repair the damage and regain control were unsuccessful. The Amako Cadiz ran aground twice, causing damage to its engines and resulting in an oil spill. The crew was rescued by French naval aviation helicopters, with the captain and one officer remaining on board until the following morning. On March 17, the vessel broke in two, releasing its entire cargo of 1.6 million barrels of oil. It broke apart again 11 days later due to the rough sea conditions. The wreckage was eventually destroyed by the French Navy. This incident caused a strong political and public outcry in Europe for far more stringent regulations concerning shipping and safety. This pressure resulted in a more comprehensive memorandum which covered the safety of life at sea, prevention of pollution by ships, and living and working conditions on board ships. Subsequently, a new Memorandum of Understanding on Port State Control was signed in January 1982 by 14 European countries at a ministerial conference held in Paris, France. It entered into operation on July 1, 1982. Since that date, the Paris Memorandum has been amended several times to accommodate new safety and marine environment requirements stemming from the International Maritime Organization (IMO) and requirements related to the working and living conditions of seafarers. The organization expanded to 27 member states over the past years. Modeled on the Paris MOU, several other regional MOUs have been signed, including the Tokyo MOU, Pacific Ocean, Acuerdo Latino or Acuerdo de Vina del Mar, South and Central America, the Caribbean MOU, the Mediterranean MOU, the Indian Ocean MOU, the Abuja MOU, West and Central Atlantic Africa, the Black Sea MOU, and the Riyadh MU, Persian Gulf. If you sail in the English Channel or Brittany, you've probably heard of the Uescent Rail. This is the name given to the Traffic Separation Scheme. That organizes ship traffic off the island of Uescent, the most westerly in France. This DST is essential to ensure safety and environmental protection, 
in an area where 120 cargo ships of 89 different flags pass through every day. Okay, you have dangerous cargo, IMO class, uh, correct? Yes, this is uh, correct. Uh, Last question, confirm uh, that all your equipments are in good working order on board and that you have no defect, over. Yes, always fine. Port State Control Inspection is a process mandated by the maritime authorities to ensure the safety of all vessels and crew. This inspection is conducted in ports and focuses on the seaworthiness of the vessel. Port State Control Officers inspect the vessel's documents, logs, and certificates to ensure that they are up-to-date and in compliance with international maritime regulations. The officers also inspect the vessel's hull, machinery, and navigation equipment to make sure they are in good condition. Any deficiencies found must be rectified before the vessel can be cleared for departure. In addition, the officers check the crew's qualifications, health, and work permits. They also inspect the vessel's garbage and oil record book to make sure it is up to date. Port state control inspections are regularly conducted and must be passed before the vessel can be allowed to depart the port. It is therefore important to ensure that the vessel is always in compliance with international maritime regulations. The International Maritime Organization IMO, is the United Nations specialized agency that is responsible for the safety and security of shipping and the prevention of marine pollution by ships. It sets the standards for safety, security, and environmental protection. Port State Control is a system of inspections that ensures ships meet these standards. Port State Control inspections are conducted by the coastal state of a vessel's port of call. Inspectors check that the ship is seaworthy, has valid documentation, and complies with the IMO's regulations. If any deficiencies are found, the ship must undergo a rectification process before continuing its voyage. Is one example the IMO and Port State Control are linked by the International Convention for the Control and Management of Ships Ballast Water and Sediments. This convention requires ships to treat their ballast water to prevent the spread of invasive species. It is enforced through port state control, and ships must demonstrate their compliance through regular inspections. In short, the IMO sets the standards for maritime safety and environmental protection, while port state control is the mechanism that ensures ships comply with these standards. Together, they help protect our oceans and keep our ships safe.